Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this action-packed Asteroid Fight Club meeting? This is a wild weather adventure. Game show, but the stakes are real and very dangerous. What shall we get today? Well, to start off, Josh Fitzpatrick is saying, The West Virginia Governor, Jim Justice, has declared a state of emergency. And folks, when Jim Justice tells you you're in a state of emergency, I would take that to heart. This Saturday, which is today, all 55 counties, after heavy rain produced flooding in multiple locations, flooding expected to continue through early next week. And we do have a heavy jet pattern coming up that's bringing in a lot of moisture so that is fascinating the auroras have been kicking but the major story here is the polar vortex split brought to us by Beth Carpenter at TDS Weather it is officially split on February 11th and major sudden stratospheric warming event underway. Polar winds have officially shifted from westerly to easterly. So that is fascinating. So the polar vortex just split in two and get ready for some wild weather from Europe to the US. I'm pretty sure over in Asia as well and all the islands around there. You know what I'm saying? So here is the moisture stream that will be coming through the South Pacific, up through Texas, New Mexico, the Gulf Coast states, West Virginia, up the East Coast states, and then you got more moisture and storms coming in through the Pacific by Canada, Vancouver, BC, Washington, Oregon. And we got uh, several storms on the way. So that is super duper interesting and fascinating in my opinion. Now, a lot of this is happening because, as I said before, when the sun freaks out, earth weather freaks out. And then people are going to freak out. So if you ha you've had some emotional swings, which is probably because the sun had a sunspot that was earth-facing, that had a major coronal mass ejection, that lit us up like a neon sign. Brought to us by the wonderful Dr. Tamith Scove, the new space weather woman. Forecast video is up. I'll put that link in the video. Learn why the arrival of the coming solar storm is hard to predict. And it's been kind of weird, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get into that in a later video. What ham radio and emergency responders should expect when region 2699 rotates out of view. And if there will be an aurora for Valentine's Day. Well, I think there was. I don't know. But there, the auroras have been fantastic. Oh, magnificent. Wonderful, mind blowing, colorful, shapely, and they got a lot of lines. Brought to us by Weather Media World, Storm Chaser, UK, EU. Absolutely gorgeous, Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights over Berg, Norway. Yesterday, evening, into hours. Sky looks bright green at some points. What a show. And I've been watching my sky here in Houston. And she's been putting on a show, even though the sun has not come out much lately. And by lately, I mean the last two weeks. By Josh Morgerman, Ice Cyclone. Final chapter of Cyclone Gita. Chronicles will be collision with New Zealand. System will weaken. Will weaken. But will still bring very stormy conditions to wide swath of country Tuesday and Wednesday. And the earth is ringing like a bell. And I noted to Dutch Sense and suspicious observers, two of the best people that will keep you updated on earthquakes and can predict them ahead of time. Asterisk. 
within a certain range of accuracy most of the time. But this earthquake in the UK was in a really weird spot, in my opinion. And so I just finished making a video telling people, hey, the weather's been weird. I mean, we got this, you know, this may have been a glitch, but it's like a uni Taylor Swift's unicorn horn was sticking down into South America, South Africa. Wait, South America. Okay, sorry. She's so pretty. It makes my brain kind of go, what? Like I said, the sun has been putting on a show. And that has been causing the sky to put on a show. And Earth weather to act kind of weird. So, I just want to let you guys know, all the way into Europe, they have been saying in like two weeks, you guys could be getting really, really, really cold. And colder than cold, cold. We shall see. But the main point of this video is, yeah, as far as earthquakes go, the earth right now is very active. We had that 7.5, 7.2 over in Mexico. This was the weird UK one, 4.2 in the United Kingdom. But when these are what I call the seam ones, they're outside of the ring of fire. But it's kind of along the seam. It's a 50 south of Africa. And if you notice the straight line patterns of there, there, there. So, I mean, a lot of these are pretty big, and it's been pretty active. Like that's a five in Papua New Guinea. Now, if we kick over here, this is pressure. And I've been monitoring this, talking about this for a long time. Rain bands and pressure, man. Rain bands and pressure. We got a volcano up here in Alaska and then volcanoes in Hawaii. I think a volcano field a few hundred miles off of California. It seems like they've been getting hot. And when I watched the thing on the pressure, they explained it. It was like, uh, junior high? Explain that blue pressure means bad weather. So we're, when we shall look at this, think of it as, yeah, blue is going to mean bad weather. So we got a lot of blue on the map. And a lot of blues headed towards Europe. So you guys are going to have to stay on top of it. We're all going to have to stay on top of our game here at Asteroid Fight Club. It's time to put our game faces on. And the leaders head to the front and begin to lead. Because I think we're going to need it very soon. As you can see, we got a lot of total cloud water over the right middle half of the United States, the eastern half. You got a flying double-headed hydro batarang headed into Europe. You have a major system coming in through Canada, BC, up into Washington. And I think it's going to be a couple systems in a row. And then you had Gita. Down here is Gita. And then this is probably going to cause problems in these areas. And so we're seeing a a lot of the, the rain bands connect and make some crazy shapes. So no matter what, it's a good time to smoke them if you got them. Do a little dancing. Be good and kind to everybody. And that's another thing. We're going to be positive. You're going out. So I ask that you stay positive in the comment section. And definitely be respectful to people because it's a crazy time, man, for sure. And we're looking at some very interesting weather because, as I said, the polar vortex is split. And so we're seeing sudden stratospheric warming. So that is interesting for sure. Well, and this one's 
I've been almost sitting there for like 10 days now, which is very weird. Strange, different, outside of the normal. That's not a blue. So please, wow, what does that look like? If this were a raw shark test, um, what would this look like? What would this look like? I need to drink more water. Instead of doing, oh, I need more water. That sounds great. The next video will be fantastic because I have drank water. So, yep, yeah, everybody be cool, but definitely stay at the top of your game. No fear. I think if we can put it all together, act as one of his family, and an American team, we'll be in the clear. But it's definitely time to get our shit together. You know what I'm saying? But most of the media is probably not going to talk about the weather or the splitting polar atmospheric vortexy thingy. They'll just be blah, blah, blah and on about a bunch of stuff that we won't be coming up with any solutions to or even attempting to find solutions to anytime in the near future. And that we do have weather present now. And it's going to be a wild roller coaster ride. Everybody needs to be prepared for. Get ready to adapt and start thinking fantastic new ways. Because we are Asteroid Fight Club and we come together. We can do anything. So I want to thank Cranky Weather Guy for being the anchor of Weather Twitter. And everybody on the Weather Twitter tweet. Weather, what, weather, blah, blah, blah. Weather their Twitter team. Space and Earth weather. Y'all are awesome. So, Ote. Oh, yeah. Love you guys. Strange days ahead. But, I got a good feeling that we're going to get to the good part of life in the future. So, don't lose hope. Heroes are here. Yeah. Okay, talk to you guys soon.